Hey there, how y'all doing? This is Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. And tonight, I've got a little Cold War relic that uh, I picked up not too long ago. And it is a Bulgarian Makarov. Now, I've always admired the Makarov for a period of time and threatened to get one. And of course, I waited to get them until they got up and expensive. I mean, they're going for about 450 to 500 dollars now. But uh, anyway, this is a nice little Makarov 9 by 18 Bulgarian, made in the uh, Arsenia Bulgarian Makarov. And so, first off, we'll make sure that she's empty. Of course, this has a European. Heel style uh, magazine release and nothing in it. Okay, so let's kind of take a look at this Makara. Uh, this Mac comes from the early 1970s and uh, <clears throat> it's in pretty good shape. I mean, you could see some holster wear on it and uh, the Bake light grips. They still seem to be in pretty good shape. But uh, it's got some decent striations on the rear side of the slide. It's got a thumb safety. Of course, this safety is a decocker. And then after you apply the safety, it ain't going to do anything, okay? So you got to have it on fire to be able to do anything with it. So if you cock back that and you apply the safety, it's just a decocker, okay? Your slide stops on the left-hand side. Um, and this is basically a blowback PPK type of pistol. Uh, the barrel is attached to the frame just like a PPK or any of those, uh, you know, like the P64, FEG, any of those <clears throat> Soviet bloc weapons, Eastern European weapons of the old 60s and 70s and 80s. But uh, it's a fairly small gun. I guess you could say it's about the size of a MP shield. And uh, I'll show you a difference between a, a shield and this. But uh, it's a single stack, eight round magazine, nine by 18. So uh, nine millimeter by 18, which basically puts it in between um, the nine by 19 that were known, the nine millimeter Luger and a pair of Bellum and uh, the, the 380 or nine millimeter Kurt. This is in between. And I don't know, it, it I was in the Soviet Union, and of course all the Soviet bloc countries, uh, and include China, uh, started making these. Now it is a fairly accurate pistol. Most of these blowback design pistols with the fixed barrel to the frame are pretty damn accurate. Now it has some pretty minimal sights, just like most of these do, but uh, it is a very accurate pistol. Uh, recoil, I mean, most of these blowbacks are a little bit more snappy than, uh, say, the striker fired or uh, that sort of thing. But it, it's not too bad. It's fairly manageable. I know there are people that use these at concealed carry. Uh, personally, I've got better choices than this for concealed carry. But in a pinch, I guess this would do the job. And uh, it's got these plastic kind of red-looking fake light grips. It makes it look nice. And... Uh, it's got a lanyard down here and take the grips off by undoing that screw and then they just kind of pull off. Um, it's a pretty basic thing. And I'll do a kind of a desktop thing uh, here in a second. But this is my Bulgarian Makarov. Interesting piece of Cold War history. Now we'll do a little bit of a history and then just kind of a nuts and bolts on this thing. But anyway, the Makarov pistol, like most other Soviet weapons, were supplied 
and copied by most of the communist nations. The Makarov was produced in Russia originally, East Germany, China, Bulgaria. A pistol very much resembling the Makarov was produced in Poland as the model P64, which is also an excellent uh, uh, mail serp weapon to get if you can. Uh, the county of origin of any Makarov pistol can be easily identified by the markings. Um, of course, even in China they make these things. Um, let's see if we can give you some particulars on these uh, particular Makarov. But you can see it, it kind of has a little bit of a gold red tinge to the hammer and the, the safety and that is not rust. That's just, uh, I don't know if it's anodized or what, but. The Makarov is a conventional double action, first shot, and then uh, single action. Uh, blowback operated pistol. It has often been compared to the German Walter PP pistol, although its internal mechanics differ a bit. It is. <coughs> Um, its unloaded weight is 25 ounces. Uh, barrel length is 3.8 inches long. And it is constructed of high quality milled steel. The safety is thumb operated and locks the slide. Uh, the safety lever is very conveniently located on the left side of the slide. The safety is the hammer drop style of safety. The Makarov magazine Hold eight rounds in a single stack. The magazine release is somewhat awkward. It's a European style on the heel of the gun, located at the base of the grip. The sights are adequate for a military pistol. The front blade type sight is pretty much fixed. The rear sight can be drifted one side or the other. Um, The double action trigger requires 12 pounds of pressure, which is about what I've found. While the single action is about four pounds, which is, it is much better single action. Uh, <laughs> this double action is much better than that P64. My God, that P64 is terrible in double action trigger pull. Um, it'll hold half inch groups at 20 yards for capable shooter. This is a very accurate pistol. It does have a chrome line barrel, and uh, yeah, this thing is just just a nice piece of Cold War history. That's a very functional pistol, and in a pinch, I guess you could carry it for concealed carry. It shoots a 94 grain bullet. And uh, I, I think Hornady even produces critical defense bullets for this thing. And uh, so, yeah, that, there are some holsters that you'd be able to get for uh, concealed carry. But like I said, I think there are a lot more better options for concealed carry than this. But anyway, that's kind of a rundown on this guy. This is it compared to a Glock 26 size pistol. Now the uh, Makarov is a bit thinner, as you can see. Because it's a single stack weapon, uh, the Glock obviously is a double stack and has more rounds. But size wise, they're approximately the same. I mean, you could put this almost right over and not see a whole big difference. So that is somewhat concealable, although it's much heavier than the Glock. It's pretty accurate. I'll run another eight.
Makarov. First shots. I got a dark the sides are dark. I kind of lose it on there. I need to put a little bit of on the side. Let's do uh, some more on this guy. Okay, do a little wrap on this Makarov. You get a chance to get one, and you're into historical uh, Cold War weapons, sidearms that actually can be used. Um, hey, pick it up. I noticed there's a few of them coming back in the country, but like I said, they're a lot more expensive now than they were like eight, nine years ago when there was a bunch of them going for about 250 bucks. It's almost twice that now. But uh, fun gun to shoot, very accurate. The ammo, ammo is, uh, it's out there. Um, but most times for nine millimeter Mac, I'm gonna have to order ordered online. I can't find it typically at my local stores, whether it's Academy or Murdoch's or whatever. But like I said, they do have uh, defense rounds for this thing. And I haven't really looked at the ballistics very much, but I did read where it was uh, pushing about a thousand eight feet per second. It's got the ballistics of uh, in between nine millimeter and a three eight. So anyway, I'll give it a thumbs up. It's a fun gun. It's an interesting piece of history. Since I'm sort of a historian, uh, I like it. So anyway, this Webs Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. God bless Texas. God bless the United States. And long live the Republic. And what?